what, uh, you know, and this is for, for, for either of you, what do you do to grow your practice or to grow the business? How do you achieve growth? Um, I, uh, really my focus is being in front of the client or being in front of people. So I am not behind my desk at least half the time. Uh, I prefer to hold meetings at somebody else's office. Um, it's nice to bring people here because they, they should see where we are and what we do, but I always like to go there. They're in their own environment, they're a little comfortable, you get to not only deal with them but deal with the people around them. Uh, so for me, I spend a lot of time in front of clients and in front of contacts. And I give a lot of time. Um, I do believe you need to give to get. Everybody has their line in the sand how far that goes. My, mine might go a little further, I have a very understanding wife. <laughs> um, but that's that's how I personally develop business, and everybody has their own style. Uh, you know, as we, we have a mentor program here, and, and as we mentor some people in the business development role, everybody has their own style. Especially when you're talking about CPAs, mm -hmm. not not everybody is is an extrovert. Uh, you have some introvert extroverts. You have very few extrovert extroverts, and most of them are just true introverts. Yet they they like the the sound of business development. Uh, so yeah, I really have to find what works for you. What works for me is just being in front of people, um, pretty much because I can talk about anything. Yeah. And, you're, and, you're, and you're a social butterfly. You do and enjoy I, that aspect. And I, I do enjoy that aspect. A lot of people don't, which makes what you want to do. And how Mike, do you, do you enjoy it? that aspect? I actually don't. I'm actually quite the introvert, but I've learned to play the game very nicely. And, and, and you know, when you get right down to it, we play a very different role in the way we, we business develop. Maybe it's because I'm a year older. But, um, you know, ultimately... It's not, it's not because he looks up to people, uh, literally. <laughs> they, they have little boxes you can stand in. So, you know, part of it is, is look, what do we do? We, we sell trust at the end of the day. This, the, our, the, the, the world that we live in, the value that we bring to people is this trust factor that we build with people. And it's very hard to do without a personal relationship. And it's very hard to have a personal relationship without spending face time. And it's very hard to spend face time if you're always behind your desk. So this evolution, if you will, there, you know, the, the, the work that we do and the social media time that we spend has to only be part of. So you know, your question is how do you grow? So you have to look at growth in, in, in various formats. You have to look at growth as organic. So anything internal, right? So how do you continue to grow the firm with the people you have? new services, whatever the case is, and then you grow by acquisition. Okay? And, that, and that has to form part of, you know, and, and the discussion that we have on a regular basis is, you know, what are our options? What are our business plans? Well, you grow internally, mm -hmm. you acquire, or you get bought. Yeah. You know, and nobody likes the third one because it doesn't create this legacy environment after 50 plus years of being in business. But as I keep trying to explain to people, that is always an option. It doesn't mean it's an option you like, but it's an option. So, you know, you so have let's, to... So let's, so, uh, sorry sure. to cut you off, Mike. So let's let's you explore. Said, yeah, <laughs> so let's let's explore organic. So what are some of the biggest headaches of trying to? Let's go all, all three of them. What are some of the biggest headaches of trying to grow organic? Well, I think Josh basically, they, you know, his style is really what is needed to grow organically. That ability to go out and get more services from your existing client, or bring in new business based on spending face time with lawyers, bankers, other business owners. That that organic type of growth is really about relationship building. It really is. But it takes a lot of effort and a long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't wake up tomorrow and go, hey, I'm going to do business development and go out for lunch and come back and go, damn, I didn't get anything. You know, it takes time to build. It takes time to build a reputation. So as you're out, you know, trying to build the brand, you're building two brands. You're building the Mike Newton Josh Miller brand. You're building the firm brand. And you can't build either one at the exclusion of the other. So the organic growth factor to me is imperative that you understand that when you are selling yourself, you are selling the firm. If you are selling the firm, you sell yourself. So the evolution, I guess, if you will, of my practice over the years has gone very strong towards selling the firm. Okay. okay? Um, part of my role now, especially with the younger partners coming in, is the support of helping people put out sales Risk management, huge issue within our profession, determining whether you take this client or you don't take this client. How do you word your engagement letters? You know, as simple as it sounds, I mean, we've just spent the last two days working on an engagement letter, um, back and forth and back and forth with the other side, based on a whole bunch of issues that weren't necessarily where we thought we should be from a safe perspective to protect ourselves. So this is 
it's those things you don't expect to happen. If you're a bigger firm and you've got a lawyer on staff, then great. Okay, I mean, unfortunately, you do get situations where we live in a litigious world where there are potential lawsuits or lawsuits that are lodged. They have to be managed. Yeah. You know, so, and you can't let that negativity that comes from somebody who in most cases has a very uh, non-substantive uh, based claim draw away from the energy of other people. So what we do is we centralize the risk management component. Usually ends up going through me and Joanne Darcy, and what we need be, we'll bring people in for expertise in the okay. exercise. But the goal behind it is protection. The goal is to keep off of everybody else's plate the negativity that gets sucked in from some of these cases. So there's the organic side. That, that organic side so, really is about people. Okay.